Mm. And we're going to a Mega Wrecking Crew. Uh, we're doing a button check, guys. <sighs> this music is actually quite catchy. So we're going to game one. We got the water dragon type versus the electric type. And both are neutral effect effect against each other, so we'll see how this goes. Um most of core neutral involves pin and grab. And pin makes grab a really good option with Corrin just because pin is so potent and deadly that you that you just have to respect it. As in respect it, you have to shield it. And with shielding, grab becomes a very viable option. And not to mention, Corrin doesn't even have a bad grab. N not like a tether grab. She can just grab. Um, she has a frame 7 grab, which is not bad at all. Um, out of shield, Nair. Um, Nair is actually frame 12. And that's mainly because Corrin has a frame 6 jump squat which makes her um, jumps come out one frame slower than most characters. Most characters have five, and certain to, a good bit of top tiers have four. She tries to go for the Thunder Edge Guard. The best way to go for the Thunder Edge Guard is wait, uh, get to an area where you can spike them, um, but not low enough where you die. And make sure you connect with Thunder, of course. Yeah, I like that, but better, but unfortunately a double SD. Well, not uh, a SD from Doc. Quick attack catching him off guard. Can't really fall off the down throw. Oh yeah, and Pikachu's edge guard is where he truly shines. Um, it, Pikachu has two multi-hits, and if one is able to connect while Korn's using Uppy, Korn is pretty much dead, because that multi, um, Pikachu's multi-hits send people so far down. Like, it's actually really ridiculous how far it sends people down. Using the counter to stop the Thunder Droids, I don't see many Korns do that, and it's actually a very, very viable option, mainly because um, Korn only has one frame of vulnerability, um, after the counter. It's kind of like uh, cool, um, Shulk Shadow Eye, where, you, where you're pretty much invincible the whole time, but you actually use the counter. And when you see Pikachu just go down there and thunder, it's like, okay, he's probably gonna thunder because there's no way he can catch up, get up there with me, so the safest thing to do is just like respect where he's gonna be and air dodge at the right time. Thunder catching him, um, up, uh, and then the up smash catching the side B. That's it. Side B is really quick, so he was able to get that up smash before he was able to side B. As Corrin, I probably would either go to A, Battlefield. Actually, I would either go to Town City or Battlefield or FD. Preferably Town City in this matchup, but that's up to K or Absolute Zero himself. And we're going back to Smashville. I do respect the option. Um, the Pikachu does get a lot from the moving platform. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong on that, but... Uh, kicking in, and when Korra kicks in, most of the time it's not very safe, just because most characters, a good chunk of the cast can punish it. 
So usually the best thing to do is kick away unless you do pin somebody, then of course you want to kick in. Because kicking away um, is a lot safer. But at the same time, you do lose stage control, so you have to be careful. Unfortunately, was was not tr he was trying to back air past the um, forest smash, but he was just unable to do that. I'm trying to get the Thunder Spike to like uh, that, and he's trying to get that. Um, it's a very strong option. Up um, Nair's out of Thunder. Don't see that very often. It Oh my god, get, get into jab block, but he was trying to go for something fancy, but was unable to. I never actually thought about that op that being an option. Four throw to miss tech to jab block. I never thought of that being a p p possible option. However, it is pretty unreliable, so generally you don't want to go for it very often. And forcing him to recover too low and... and Kuma Doc takes the set. <laughs> 